Hey, attorney Jason Warker here for Ride Free TV, and right now we're talking about voting. This election is important. I don't care who you are, what side, what affiliation, what your background is. If you're a United States citizen, you have a right to vote, and you should vote. I don't care who, get out and vote. So we're going to do some frequently asked questions. We're going to answer those FAQs that you might have. First, where are you voting or when? Check your voter registration for your precinct. It, this year, it's November 6. Polls are open from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. If you are in line before 8 p.m., before the polls close, they must let you vote. Voter identification. Do you have to show up with your voter ID or your voter registration card? The answer is no. Michigan does have a requirement that you have to show identification. There's an exception. If you don't have identification, you can tell them and they have to give you an affidavit. They have these little cards. You sign swearing that you don't have ID on you and that you this is your address. They look you up, confirm that that is the right place and they must let you vote. So the real law is when it comes down to it, you don't have to show voter ID. There's an exception to even that. If it's your first time voting, at some point you do have to show your identification so they can figure out that that's who you are and that you're a proper citizen and check you all out. So if it's your first time voting, you should vote bring ID just in case. Figure that out before. Next question. This was a something people get mixed up. I've always heard a mis misconception. If you are a convicted felon, you lose your right to vote. That's not true. If you are released from the prison system, uh, even if you're on probation, you still have the right to vote. Next, let's talk about, oh, what can I wear? If you have like a sweatshirt or a, a button for a candidate or a proposal that you're backing, are you allowed to wear those things at the poll? No. You are allowed to within 100 feet or 100 feet away, you can have that stuff on. You see all those poll sitters and the passing out flyers. They actually have a line drawn many places so that says you have to be beyond that line. That's the 100 foot designation. If even if you see on television when the candidates go vote for themselves, they are not wearing their pins because of that law. So don't wear your pins or a sweatshirt or a t-shirt for your candidate. They can ask you to remove those things or take those off and, and prevent you from voting until you do that. Cameras. Cameras are not allowed in the voting area. Um, don't be that person. Look at me voting, uh, you know, right in the, uh, you know, in the, in the place that you vote. What's it called? Uh, and put it on Facebook. They, you're going to cause yourself a problem and they can throw you out. Just don't do it. No cameras. What if you vote and you screw up your ballot? It's okay. It happens all the time. Bring it to uh, one of the workers' attention. They have to give you, there's this whole system and procedure in place how to get rid of that ballot, void that one out, and give you a new one. If there are any problems, there's an easy 800 number. It's actually 866-OUR-VOTE. If you incur any problems, dial that number, and those they're going to have the answer. It's through the state of Michigan, or you can call the state of Michigan. Secretary of State has also a number, but this number is the easiest, and they're prepared for anything to happen. That's 866-OUR-VOTE. I'll leave you with this quote with Abe Lincoln, or from Abe Lincoln. The ballot is stronger than the bullet. Get out and vote.